Let's continue our discussion of parameters, this time talking about value and reference parameters. In this video, we'll explore the difference between passing by value and passing by reference, the two ways that information can be passed within a program. Passing by value happens when a copy of the actual parameter value is sent to the formal parameter, like sending a fax transmission or an email attachment. You still own the original document and are simply sending a copy to the receiver. Any changes that are made to the received fax or attachment do not affect your original document. When passing by value, any changes made during the execution of the receiving method by the formal parameter do not affect the original value of the actual parameter. However, if the parameter is passed by reference, any changes made by the formal parameter do affect the original value. This is like a team of workers sharing a Google Doc style artifact where everyone has access to the original document and any changes made affect everyone that owns it. This next sequence demonstrates the idea of passing by value and how changes to the formal parameter do not affect the actual parameter. In the pseudocode examples of parameter passing, all formal parameters will be explicitly labeled as passed by value or passed by reference, as you can see with this program example. Take a moment to pause this video, study the program, and see if you can follow the sequence and predict the output. Okay, let's see if you were able to figure it out. Here you see a program with a main method and a void method called doStuff, which has the formal integer parameter x being passed by value. The program begins in main, the integer variable y is initialized with the value 5, then printed, and then sent as an actual parameter in a call to the doStuff method. The passed by value formal parameter x of the doStuff method receives a copy of the value 5, which is then used in an output statement. The value of x is reassigned to be 6 and is again output. Control then returns to main where the value of y is output again, still the same as it was before. Here is the important issue in this example. When the value of x in the doStuff method was changed, it did not affect the value of the actual parameter y in main, and therefore the last output shown was still the original value of the variable y. This whole process is called passing by value. Now it gets interesting. This next program is very similar, as you can see, but the formal parameter is passed by reference this time. Take another moment to pause the video and see if you can figure out the output this time. Passing by reference happens when the memory location or address of the value is being passed. Since that is the case here, the formal parameter will have direct access to the actual parameter's value using the same memory location, and any changes made to it using the formal parameter are also made to the value referenced by the actual parameter, since it is the same memory location. Let's watch the action. Again, main starts things off. Y is initialized to 5. Notice carefully that Y contains a memory address, which is in a different place in memory, and that location actually contains the value 5. The value that y is pointing to is then printed, and then the doStuff method is called. When the actual parameter is passed, it is the memory location that is passed, not the value itself. And so both formal and actual parameters are now referencing or pointing to the same value. The value of x is printed and then changed and output again. The change that is made by the formal parameter immediately changes the actual parameter, so that when control returns to main, the final output for the actual parameter is now 6, the same as the formal parameter's last output. This is just like the Google Docs example that was mentioned earlier, where changes made by one person sharing the document automatically change it for everyone. The main idea here is a very important one for you to comprehend. If you need to, view this video again until you completely understand what is going on. In summary, passing by value means that changes made by the formal parameter do not affect the value of the actual parameter. In the situation of passing by reference, changes made by the formal parameter do affect 
the value of the actual parameter. Be sure and use the other cool learning tools that are available to you to help further explore and better understand this really important distinction.